What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy, enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for, for, future, for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Cats and Sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and, every, each and every one of you guys. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love you guys so much. I'm just saying, just saying, saying. Okay, so I received another channeling. My gosh, we're still going strong. 1220 a.m. on 825, 2022. I got corn in the morning, but hopefully this will be my last one. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, uh, be my last one, and then um, I can go to bed. I uh, get up bright and early for court. Um, I've already completed my classes. It was a ridiculous ass charge anyways in October of 2021. Um, but I've completed all my stuff. I just got to go pay the court fee, say I did my classes, what have you, what have you. So it's what it is. Um, okay. So the channel message I received was um, someone's about to tell them themselves very publicly. Um, I heard for one, it's going to be in a very public setting very soon around a lot of people. It's going to create many, uh, many series of chain of events. Um, other people are about to take the information and run with it. That was the first scenario, scenario one. Scenario two, I heard it's going to be on social media. And someone's going to screenshot it and they're going to send it to an investigator. So you plug it in, how it resonates, how that resonates and applies. So there's somebody's about to tell them themselves very public. So they're not, they're going to tell them themselves. Um, it doesn't sound like they're going to mean to, um, but they are. They are most certainly not going to mean to. It's just going to happen, but it's divinely guided to happen. Okay, I heard they're not going to mean to, but it's going to happen it's divinely guided to happen so i think there's going to be some kind of chaos or conflict energy there where maybe they get in some kind of verbal argument or something or a discussion or something and they end up telling on themselves i heard they're not going to mean to so um but i think there's going to be a series of chain of events that's going to be created I heard it's divinely guided to happen so it's divinely guided in the universe for this to happen to where they tell them themselves. Now, situation one, now I feel you guys are going to see this. I think you guys are going to be, the reason I'm pulling this in is the, I feel you guys are going to be the ones either screenshotting this online social media conversation and sending it to investigators, or you are going to be the one they tell them themselves to. Uh, in this large group of people or what have you, what have you. And um, they, um, and you run and uh, run with it, run with it and tell the information to whoever, whoever, or take it and run. I heard take it and run with it. So whatever you're going to take and run with, um, I'm assuming to other people or a situation or what have you, what have you. But situation one, it's going to be in a very large group um I'm sorry, not large. It's going to be in a public group dynamic. It's going to be in a public group dynamic. And basically, they are going to um, uh, tell on themselves. But it's going to be around a lot of people. So I think you're going to be one of the people they're going to tell on themselves to. And you're going to be the one, that, one of the ones that you take it and run. Now, whoever you take it and run to, I'm not sure. And whatever you do with the information... Only you know what you're going to do with the information. Now, whatever this information is, I don't know. Only you'll know when this happens. That's situation one. Situation two, it is um, uh, on social media. It's on social media, and it sounds like they're going to get some kind of verbal conflict or argument or something with somebody or some people or a group or what have you, what have you. And it's going to be documented on the social media and... I feel whoever this is for, you're. I think you're going to be the screenshotter of this information on social media. And whatever this is, it warrants you to take it to an investigator. So whatever this is online, on social media, it could be any social media platform I'm feeling. But you're going to see this on social media and screenshot it. Once you screenshot it, you're going to send the screenshot or screenshots to investigators. 
investigator investigators. I don't know if this is a local investigator, county county investigator, state investigator, feds, what have you, what have you. Um, a local police, PI, what have you, okay? Um, however that resonates and applies. Heavy social media energy, heavy public energy. So the so these people are heavily heavily in the public eye, whether it's social media platform or public, and so are you. You're heavily in the public eye, and so are them. But you're about to transmute the energy and screenshot it off the social media, send it to investigator investigators, one screenshot or 50 million screenshots, or you're going to take the information and run in the public setting. Now, I feel this could be any public setting. It could be a workplace. It could be a company event. It could be a picnic. It could be a public park. It could be a ball team setting, what have you, what have you, uh, whatever this is, okay? But they're about to tell them themselves. And whoever they are, they're low vibrational. They don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, or integrity. Um, and you're about to run with it. I feel you are high vibrational, and you do, if this resonates for you. Um, very high vibrational. Tired of this mess. Very high vibrational and you're tired of this mess. So if this resonates for you, you're high vibrational and you're tired of this mess. Whatever mess this is. It's some kind of heavy chaos and conflict and drama crap. I can't stand that crap, but some people thrive on it, but I can't stand it. But um, whoever you are, you can't stand it either. And I don't blame you. Um, however that resonates, okay? All right, let's see. Let's see Yes, full moon cycle. Self-love, number, I heard take it, number six could be a very significant number in one's life, number six, self-love. You are about to help yourself out in a huge way, and you're about to help another individual out in a huge way. A single mother. Okay, I heard you're about to help yourself out in a huge way, and you're about to help out a single mother in a huge way. So we have self-love. So you have self-love for yourself, and um, you love yourself enough to stay out of the drama and the BS. Um, but whoever you are, it sounds like these people are about to drink, bring it to you, but you're basically going to transmute the energy in a positive way. You love yourself enough to take this whatever this is, off of social media, these people creating all this chaos and conflict and BS and drama and crazy crap, and you have sense enough in your head to transmute it in a positive way. You love yourself enough, and you love the situation enough, and uh, you really like the single mother, or you, um, I, I don't think you like you're in love with her, but I think you like her enough, and I think she has self-love for herself enough, um, that you're going to help her out. Because I heard you're going to help yourself out in a huge way. So self-love for yourself in this situation. And the single mother. And I think she loves herself too. And that's why you're about to do this. Um, how that resonates and applies. Um, you're going to help yourself out and a single mother in a huge way. If that resonates for you. So you care enough about yourself in the situation. That you're about to transmute this energy. Whether you're sending the screenshots off social media to investigator or investigators or um, taking whatever information this is in a public setting and taking it and run when they tell them themselves. I feel it could be one person about to tell them themselves or two or two plus. How that resonates and applies, okay? Let's pull one more. Spirit message, did you have to like this?
blossoming. Number 33 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 33, blossoming. You're about to really blossom. This information is life altering and you know this. Okay, I heard you're about to really blossom. This information is life altering and you know this. So whatever this is that these person or people are about to tell them themselves, either on social media or um, or in a public setting, and it's, I feel it's gonna be around you, if this resonates for you, you're about to really blossom. You're about to transmute this energy. You're not gonna just play into somebody's blackmail, play into somebody's dirty little games, play into somebody's manipulation or drama, or you're gonna think for yourself, whatever this is, okay? It hasn't happened yet, it's upcoming. Uh, for some, you could be in one of these situations, for some in both, maybe. But um, you are blossoming and coming to your own, you're thinking for yourself, and you're about to uh, show this in the universe. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's beautiful. All right, well, I'm getting out of this. I love you guys. I hope this helped, and namaste.